What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, a.k.a. take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy, had a strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, and awesome. All right, everybody, July 24th, 2024, on a good old Wednesday word here. I just woke up from a nap not too long ago, so we up now. But I was just sitting here talking to the Lord about Ephesians 6, 7 that he led me to earlier when I was going to get my hair cut. And then how he burning me up right now. But how he just now led me to Colossians 3, 17. So we're going to read those two and then talk about this quick message here. Ephesians 6, 7. With goodwill doing service as to the Lord and not to men. Colossians 3.17. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. So, you know, when you are going through things as a messenger, as just a child of God, anything, right? What we always want to do is make sure that you have a godly attitude in the assignments no matter what the circumstance is you know we want to make sure that we really care about the work we are doing for the lord we thank him for everything that's happened to strengthen us no matter what you want to make sure that heart posture and that attitude is straight you know care about what you're doing for the lord be happy and joyous about what you're doing for the Lord, even in trying times in terms of your walk. You don't want to allow what you want to feel in trial or, you know, family not understanding you. You don't want that to carry over and what God is telling you to do. But you want to be joyous and doing the work of the Lord, right? It's all about how we look at the work we're doing, our heart about it, heart for the Lord, right? So you always want to just give thanks to the Lord, no matter what, no matter what, no matter what, no matter what. And for me, I always turn into what God puts me through. I've been doing this since I started. What God puts me through, he turns that into encouragement for others right and it's also like a documentation for me to look back on and be like oh this is what i made it through this is what shaped me to be this way right it's always a good reminder but no matter what no matter what i don't care what you see other people do i don't care what you thinking fleshly wise make sure that when you doing the work of the lord when you are moving in general on anything we always want to keep that godly attitude and make sure we keep our heart posture straight especially when it comes to the work of the lord you know paul went through a lot of stuff and he was still doing the work of the lord right bitten by a snake nothing phased him there you know people freaking out around him nothing phased him there he still carried that faith in the Lord, right? And that's a major aspect too. Carry that faith, still carry the traits that God built in you, no matter what it's looking like. Because the world we live in today, we're going to have to carry these things. People are going to spit at you, cuss at you, fuss at you, you know, all types of stuff. But you cannot lose that godly attitude and way of conducting yourself right keep it keep it keep it keep it and so i just was thanking the lord for always giving me reminders always turning what i go through into lessons to encourage other people because that's how we got to be that's how we got to be 
You know, for me personally, when the Lord put me on that front line, Oh, you're going to have to take a lot of punches from the enemy because you on the front line. But the Lord know you can handle it. And you're going to eat them punches and turn them around for the good of God. And that's the best part about it. And that in itself just, oh, that boils the enemy's blood. You don't even know it. That's the best thing you can do is keep that godly attitude and keep moving forward. All right. So quick message here. Real, real quick, just keep acting according to God's will and keep that godly attitude. Don't let people bring that out of you, all right? You better unball them fists and stop playing. Watch the tongue and hold that thought, all right? So peace and blessings, and I will catch y'all in the next one.